Welcome to the Caribbean Vegan Foodie. Today we're making a whole roast jerk cauliflower. Let's go. Here are the simple ingredients that you are going to need for this recipe. You're going to need one onion, some thyme, scotch bonnet pepper or black pepper, salt, garlic powder or garlic clove, green onion aka scallion, pimento berries aka allspice berry, cauliflower, some grace jerk seasoning. I'm using the mild which is full of flavor with minimum heat. We're gonna start off by getting some water boiling. I already washed my veggies and have everything prepared and ready to go. When your water comes to boil, you wanna add all your seasoning, your onion, your scallion, pepper, pimento, salt, garlic. You wanna add those to your pot. And this is going to make a amazing and flavorful broth which you're going to use to season your cauliflower You want to let this boil for about 10 minutes until everything is cooked down and we have a nice flavorful broth. And remember the taste, taste, taste. If it need more salt, add some. And the scotch bonnet pepper here, it gives a lot of flavor without the heat because it's still whole. I didn't break it. So if you want extra heat, you can always pop it. But right now, we're not going to pop it. We're just going to leave it whole. Now we're going to add our cauliflower. Yes, we're adding our cauliflower to this flavorful broth because we're going to let it marinate in this broth while cooking a little bit before we put it in the oven. So that will reduce the time that we need to have it in the oven to get the cauliflower cooked. So remember to keep turning your cauliflower and put in the broth on over it, all over it to let it seep in. And you want to have your stove on low to medium because you don't want the cauliflower to cook too much. You want to have the cauliflower in the broth for about three to five minutes not too long because you don't want your cauliflower to cook too much you don't want it to get soft This might seem like a lot of work, but I'm telling you, it's worth every minute. The aroma of the broth is amazing. And then the flavor and the flavor which it gives to the cauliflower. So when you roast your cauliflower, every bite will have wonderful flavor in it. Now for the fun part, the bacon, aka the roasting. So you want to take your cauliflower and put it in a baking in a baking dish or in a baking sheet. It's up to you. And you want to add a little oil on top. And then you're gonna add your jerk seasoning. About three tablespoons. I'm using the Grace Mild, as I said before. And this thing is so flavorful, and you don't have that extra that heat from the regular one if you're not 
up for all that heat. And a side note, a little side tip, that broth that you use to marinate your, um, your cauliflower, you could leave it and you could use it for your soup. It's that good. You could leave it for whatever soup you're making. look at that doesn't that look delicious that look amazing eh? and it's not even baked yet you're gonna pop this in the oven at 425 degree for about 10 to 15 minutes and then you want to broil it for an additional five minutes and this will give it an extra crispiness and an extra brown that you're looking for but make sure you keep your eye on it as it broil yeah man so this are the finished product and it look good and i'm telling you it smell good and it also tastes good it's amazing side dish that you can have with rice mashed potato on top of a salad on its own it's amazing your vegan and non-vegan friend will enjoy it so i hope you try this recipe and tell me what you think down below thank you for stopping by remember to like Tell a friend, subscribe, and until next time, what good?